Hello everyone and welcome to another Jurassic World Dominion video and for today's video I want to discuss the fate of all the dinosaurs that are now in our world after escaping from the Lockwood Estate and Fallen Kingdom's ending. Now this is due to the fact that in the Dominion prologue that came with seeing F9 and M IMAX theaters, which spoilers if you haven't seen it, we see that Rexy the Tyrannosaurus Rex of Jurassic Park and Jurassic World as well is in the process of trying to escape from a helicopter that's chasing her down. And it's left me wondering if this was happening with other dinosaurs, and if this was the case, why was it happening? Now you may think that it's because she was causing trouble in the drive-in theater, but no, the helicopter was after her first, and her running with the people was out of fear. And in fact, it's very possible that people may have actually turned against the dinosaurs instead of defending them as they had done in Fallen Kingdom. Now the reason why the public's now against the dinosaurs and preserving them may have to do with the events of Battle of Big Rock, where, if you haven't seen it, go check it out, link for it will be in the description below, where one family visiting the National Park barely survives an attack from an Allosaurus which occupies there, after witnessing a fight between it and the family of Nasutoceratops. And it's not just this incident where they barely survived and lost their trailer to account. There are other incidents that could have caused the dinosaurs to be put in trouble, as in the short film itself, the mother of the family actually reminds them of what they're supposed to do when the Mesutoceratops first appears, as well as mentions an attack that previously happened. The ranger said that we should just stay calm and wait for it to go away. You heard what happened up north. Those were carnivores. That's an herbivore. Now, so does her tops. As she mentions, an attack by some carnivores, which, from the way she puts it, and as well as her daughter, that the incident up north probably led to human casualties. And it may be because of attacks such as these and more, more like it that the governments of the world may have decided to try and deal with the dinosaurs, especially if they began to start affecting the lives of people in other ways, such as, for example, if we look at the most source itself, which is a huge threat to the world population, because it has dominion over 75% of the world. It can go anywhere across the world if it really chooses to. And it could be causing thing problems with f the fishing industry itself, as it, since it's massive, it needs a large amount of food. And if fish stocks started to decline, people could be blaming the Mosasaurus for it. And it's not just that. Even herbivores themselves could be actually causing problems for food supplies around the world. As if herbivores start going onto farmlands and eating the farm crops, it could be that the people are now tired of dinosaurs affecting their livelihoods and that they're taking up too much of our world that they may have decided to either relocate them back to an island like Isla Sorna, or even maybe Isla Nublar, now that the volcano has obviously finished erupting, or they may in fact be trying to kill them all. And this is exactly why it could be that characters such as Claire and Owen could be returning. Well, they will be returning, but here's why. It's because if they learned that people were hunting down dinosaurs, they would probably want to save all the dinosaurs before they were either killed or taken somewhere that they don't know is safe for them, such as Isla Sorna, because if they were taken to Isla Sorna possibly, they could be in the same danger that they were in for being on Isla Nublar, because we know that Isla Sorna is indeed volcanic in nature, so it would be a danger for them. And also, in fact, if we look at this theory that I have, it could be the reason why the new film is called Jurassic World Dominion, because now it seems that humanity can no longer accept not being the top species in the world. And now the dinosaurs and man are fighting for dominion over the earth, exactly as Ian Malcolm warned what would happen at the end of Fallen Kingdom, as he stated that humans and dinosaurs are now going to be forced to coexist with each other, and that humans were causing their own extinction. And it seems like humanity is repeating the mistakes once again that have caused this whole problem in the first place. But guys, what do you think? Do you think that the dinosaurs have been turned on and are now being hunted down by the governments of the world? Or do you think there's another reason why Rexy was being chased down? 
Personally, I think this is a really perfect way to set up Claire and Owen's return, as well as even maybe Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler, as if the dinosaurs are being threatened by the lo by local people now and no longer feeling safe, then they would want to try and preserve them, as they did when they rescued them from Isla Nublar, until they were brought to the mainland, of course. But guys, I'd love to hear all of your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate the like, I, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt, as we're almost at a thousand subscribers, guys. Hopefully we can reach that by the one year anniversary of the channel. Be safe, and until the next video, I'll see you all later and be safe. Bye-bye.